Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on obstacles in chain surveying. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. Two stations P and Q on the main survey line were taken on the opposite sides of a pond. So this is the pond. On the opposite sides of the pond, two stations are made P and Q. On the right of PQ, a line PR 210 meter long was laid down. This is the PQ line. This is the left of PQ and this is the right of PQ. On the right side of the PQ, a line is made that is PR. It is having the length of 210 meter. Another line PS 260 meter was laid down on the left of PQ. On the left of PQ, another line is made that is PS and its length is 260 meter. The points R, Q and S are on the same straight line. The points R, Q and S are on the same straight line. The measured length of R, Q and Q, S are 85 meter and 75 meter respectively. R, Q is 85 meter and Q, S is 75 meter. What is the length of P, Q? So we have to find out the length of P, Q. In this problem, let us calculate the angle at the point R. If we find this angle, we can easily calculate the distance of P, Q. From this figure, first I am going to take the triangle P, S, R. Here we can add R, Q and Q, S. 85 plus 75, we will get 160 meter. In the triangle PSR, we are going to apply cosine rule. You can see the cosine rule here. A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cos theta. We have to fix A, B and C on the three sides of the triangle. We have to be very careful that A must be fixed opposite to the angle theta. B and C can be fixed here or here. But we have to be very careful. A must be fixed opposite to the angle theta. I have fixed B here and I have fixed C here. Now let us apply the values in the rule. A is the distance between P S that is 260 meter. B is the distance between R and S that is 160 meter. You can apply. C is the distance of P R that is 210 meter. We can apply. After the calculation we are getting this. Then we can take this minus 67,200 cos theta on the left side. So it will become positive. Also we can take this 67,600 on the right side. So it will become negative. Then we can take this 67,200 on the right side. It will come in the denominator. Finally we are getting cos theta is equal to 0 0.03125. Now we are going to find out the distance between P and Q. For that I am going to take the triangle PQR. In the triangle PQR also, I am going to apply the cosine rule. Here also we have to be very careful that A must be selected on the opposite side of the angle theta. B and C can be made here or here, it does not matter. But we have to be very careful, A must be selected on the opposite side of the angle theta. We can apply the values here. B is the distance of PR that is 210 meter, we can apply. C is the distance of QR that is 85 meter we can apply. Finally we are getting for A square 50,209.375 then we can take square root on both of the sides. Finally we are getting A is equal to 224.07 meter. We know that A is the distance of PQ. Finally we got the distance between P and Q that is 224.07 meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.